Satnam and welcome to Nam Shakti's vlog. And I want to talk to you today about rewriting your story and mostly about your story that you keep telling yourself. We all have traumas. We all been through traumatic situations, experiences in our lives. Some people have bigger traumas and some people have uh, smaller traumas, but we all been through traumas. We all have them. So it's about being compassionate with one another, being centered in our hearts so we can truly be compassionate with one another. But why do we keep telling people our same story? We keep repeating the same story that we either got abused or we got raped or our parents didn't love us or we uh, were foster kids or whatever the situation was. We keep repeating this story and we keep telling the people a story so people can feel sorry for us because we feel sorry for ourselves. So how can we re rewrite this story? Stop feeling sorry for yourself is number one. Stop repeating the same story to everyone so people can feel sorry for you. I know that when I speak about my uh, miscarriages, because I had, uh, had a few, I really see them as a gift. I see them as something that happened to me, as it needed to happen to me for me to grow. And I see it as a wonderful, beautiful gift. I stepped away from feeling sorry for myself into actually in a place of gratitude. So look at those things that happen to you in a way that you can say, I, this is the reason that I grew. This is the reason that I, I can be more compassionate. I can, there's, there's a reason why you went through so, so, some of your traumas. There's a reason why these things happen. And it could be that, you know, you needed to be a powerful woman and you you had to go through a, a trauma experience for you to be powerful in this world. And someone taking away your power by, you know, abusing you as you were a child. And now as you got older, you became very powerful because, because you had to step into that role. So we are put in situations where we don't understand why, where we don't know why it's happening to us, but stepping away from victimhood and really just being grateful, even if even if the trauma is so big, seeing the good in it, seeing where we have become. And if you don't feel like you've become somewhere that you want to be, see yourself going somewhere that you really, really want to be. Start picturing yourself being victorious. Stop feeling sorry for yourself for the traumas that you've been through. Stop feeling sorry for yourself for what you're going through. See the victory in it. See the goodness in it. Because you are wonderful. You're beautiful. And you're just put in these positions because you are meant to grow much bigger. Uh, sometimes the universe throws things at us and it's like a wake up call. Like get up. Do, do, do what you need to do. You need to be on your mission to be on your life purpose. And we're put in these positions because we're meant to be pushed and even though they seem scary, even though they seem like we don't want them or we don't like it, we have to be pushed that way. So no more looking at it as good or bad. No more putting labels on things. Just seeing the good in everything. Seeing the beauty in everything. Seeing the how grateful you are in everything. And see the power that every situation holds. Every situation holds a power. And it could be that it, it was teaching you to go deeper into your essence. And that's what you're meant to do. You're meant to dive deeper into who you are. You know, that God wants you to be happy. God wants you to be prosperous. God wants you to be wealthy all these things you're meant to have them you're meant to be happy you're meant to have this beautiful home with a beautiful car whatever you want materialistic god is energy and energy is also money and material items we're meant to have these things it's but when we forget who we are as a spiritual beings in the midst of having these things is a problem you have to stay humbled stay humbled but rewriting your story, rewrite that story about, you know, that, that child that wasn't loved. Rewrite her story, say, you know, I 
came into this world because my mission was so big and I wasn't didn't feel loved as a child but now I have four five or three two kids that I, I'm given to so I can love them and I can nourish them and I learned to love so deeply because when I was a child I didn't feel loved and now as a grown woman I feel completely loved and that's why I'm going to give all that love to my children give yourself all that love rewrite that story that you keep telling people so people can feel sorry for you rewrite the story so you will stop feeling sorry for yourself no more feeling sorry for you no more feeling sorry for yourself you need to step into that power that you are as a grown woman as a woman with power and as a man you know that young boy that didn't have any love as a child give yourself all that love and know that you deserve it you met for so much goodness so much greater than just feeling sorry for yourself so rewriting the stories and let go of fear because the more you fear something the more you're going to attract it look at fear in the face fear is just our friend trying to tell us what is trying to prevent from happening or fear is just trying to warn us of something and we just have to look at it in the face and be like what's that fear what are you trying to tell me and just let it tell you what it's trying to say you know let it come through you and just allow the feelings to come and you look at it as scary as it may seem just face it because if you don't face your fear all those fearful things that you're so fearful about are gonna keep happening to you. You're gonna keep attracting them. It's gonna keep happening in your life. Look at fear in the face. Rewrite your story. Tell your story differently. See the good in it. See the how grateful this has been, this time where you get to grow as an individual. You get to grow as a in your consciousness as an individualization of God. See the goodness in that and really truly step into the power of who you are by rewriting your story. No more feeling sorry for yourself. Rewrite that story and tell it with honor how grateful you are that whatever happened, happened because you are who you are right now and this conscious being, this person of light and see the love and the light that came from it. We don't understand why things happen. We don't know why we're put in situations, the reason we're put in those situations, but we do know this, that we grow from them and we thank God for everything. And when you do that, when you step in a place of gratitude, oh, wonderful things can happen and bless all. When you, there's someone that you cannot forgive because they did something to you horrible, just bless them. Every time you think about them, say, bless you, bless you, bless you. Or, you know, every time, you see them, just bless them, just send blessing love to them and light to them. The more you bless them, the more your heart is healing, the more you're able to step into who you are as this conscious being of love, of light. Oh, it's so good to bless all. It really is so good to bless all because you're blessing yourself 10 times fold. You're blessing that fearful situation. Just bless, bless, bless it all. And stop gossiping. No more gossiping. No more talking bad about other people. No more doing things that you shouldn't do. No more being mean to people. Just bless everyone that comes into your area. Don't, don't doubt yourself. See the light in you and as you see the light in others. And be this healing presence that we need you to be because when you become so healed, everyone around you does too. The world changes. So I invite you today to rewrite your story. Um, and also check out namchakti.com slash blog. This is where this blog is going to be at uh, about rewriting your story and other blogs that I have as well. I love you and I truly want you to grow and I want you to be this beautiful, wonderful person that you are because you are beautiful, you are blessed, and I love you. Satnam.